know this actually, but um, you know, and I, you know, sometimes don't communicate it that well. But I love religion and I love religious people. I think religious people are oftentimes the most accepting and uh, loving people that I've ever met in my life. Uh, i got plenty of religious people in my family and they're all wonderful. Uh, they love queer people and they're just great humans to be around. Um, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't I don't even know where I was going with that. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about this. So this has been trending here in, uh, you know, in, in circles. Art professor sues after firing over Prophet Muhammad images. So um, this is a follow up to a story that I did not cover previously. I uh, did not know about it previously, but I saw this one. And apparently an art professor um, was prompted by a classroom to show a ancient depiction of Muhammad in the 15th century or so. Um, and she offered any Muslim students to leave and uh, they chose to stay. Then they got triggered because they're fucking stupid because anybody who is a Muslim who believes that you're not allowed to draw the prophet is a fucking moron. I don't give a shit about, oh, my religious belief. Go fuck yourself with your religious belief. Your religious belief is fucking stupid and so are you. So anyway, let's read this. This is an interesting situation here. Ultimately, this boils down to free speech. Attorneys for an adjunct art professor said Tuesday she is suing the Minnesota University that dismissed her after a Muslim student objected to depictions of the Prophet Muhammad at a global art course. While the university attempted to a, uh, admitted to a misstep, the plans to hold public conversations about academic freedom and plans to do that. In her lawsuit, Erica Lopez Practor Prater, no C, alleges that Hamline, Hamline, Hamlin, I don't know, University, a small private school in St. Paul, subjected her to religious discrimination and defamation and damaged her professional and personal reputation. Quote, among other things, Hamlin, through its administration, has referred to Dr. Lopez Prater, uh, Prater's actions as, quote, undeniably Islamophobic. Her attorneys said in a statement, comments like these, which have now been published in news stories around the globe, will follow Dr. Lopez Prater throughout her career, potentially resulting in her inability to obtain tenure track position at any institution of higher education. Uh, once again, an important fact here is she literally did give a trigger warning. She said, if anyone is offended by depictions of the Prophet Muhammad, leave the room. They students decided to stay in the room because they're dumb. And they're eternally triggered little snowflake bitches. This is the same thing that happens. You see this all the time when a professor criticizes Israel and then they ac accuse them of being anti-Semitic. Like criticizing and uh, in this instance, this isn't even a criticism, right? But like, <laughs> like this is not a criticism at all. Like she did not criticize uh, Islam in any way. But again, like this idea that criticizing a religious institution is just out of bounds in, in polite society, you're not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to step on the toes of some stupid ass fucking Santa Claus like motherfuckers. I mean, I'm sorry, man. The dumbest shit in the world. It's Islamophobic to look at a drawing that was drawn by Muslims themselves. Once again, there's this common perception out there that Muslims are not a fan of drawings of the Prophet, uh, not a fan of drawings of the Prophet Muhammad. And that's just not true. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of different kinds of di you know ways that people approach islam a lot of people that believe in that stupid ass shit don't believe in the even stupider ass shit like you can't believe uh, you can't draw a prophet muhammad there's plenty millions millions dare i say billions of muslims that don't give a shit and in this instance the art that she was showing was drawn by muslims right so again it's just a bunch of stupid ass bullshit um let's keep reading in Minnesota, a lawsuit can be started by serving a summons and a complaint to the party being sued. Attorneys for Lopez Prater said the lawsuit was served to Hamlin University on Tuesday and will soon be filed in court. Hamlin University President Fanny Smiller and Ellen Watters, the Board of Trustees Chair, released a joint statement Tuesday saying recent communications, articles, and opinion pieces have led to the led the school to review and re-examine our actions. Oh really? Oh really? I mean, seriously, again, I don't give a fuck about if you go to college and you're religious, like, 
I mean, tough luck. If you learn about facts in college and you're religious and you don't like facts, how about go fuck yourself? Is that an option? Are we allowed to discuss that as an option? If you go to school and they teach you about evolution, well, the Bible says you got dang good Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, you know? I don't give a shit about your Bible. You're a fucking moron, right? So, I mean, it's not that hard to understand this kind of stuff. I mean, this is why I tell you all, I hate religion, and most importantly, I hate religious people, because these so-called good Muslims, good Christians, and good Jews, they give cover and enable all the shit, all the fucked up shit that these religions do, because they treat these religious institutions as if they're actually a real thing. The Catholic Church, not a real thing. It's just a bunch of morons playing dress up and worshiping a god, and also stealing a bunch of money from people that are too dumb. To, you know, they just, oh, give your money to the Lord, give your money to the Lord. It's just a bunch of fucking Ponzi schemes, right? So again, but we live in this stupid ass society where if you criticize any religious institution, you're Islamophobic. Well, you know what? Maybe I am Islamophobic. You know what? Maybe I am anti-Semitic. If criticizing Israel's genocidal policy in the West Bank is anti-Semitic, sign me the fuck up. You know, if I'm Christophobic because I don't like Christians that are doing terror attacks on queer nightclubs, sign me the fuck up. I think people in society, polite society, if you will, are way too afraid to criticize religion we've entered this weird area in uh in our culture where we had this like big atheist movement like you know maybe a decade ago and then like the atheists lost you know and in 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 the christian's defense in the Muslim and the Jewish people's defense, the atheists of 10 years ago were fucking stupid. There were some crazy motherfuckers. Sam Harris, dumb as a doornail. Like, we're talking about some really dumbass motherfuckers. So I don't blame the atheist movement necessarily for failing to gain any sort of public prominence. But I'm here to tell you that I think we need to try again because these religious fucking motherfuckers are insane. They're insane. I don't know what to tell you. They're crazy. And they're taking over the world. I don't know. Like, Israel is literally, like, politicians in Israel are, like, clapping and cheering for fucking genocide. Like, they're talking about, like, literally engaging in the final solution in Gaza, and they're all cheering, and you're not allowed to criticize that? Like, I don't know, man. Maybe we need to bring atheism back, okay? I don't know. Just the th just food for thought here. Maybe let's bring atheism back into the mainstream, because I've had enough of this fucking shit. And this, and, you know, you know, I I'm ranting and raving about religion as a whole, but this is just one of those things that... This this idea that religious people have like a special right in society. I believe in some made up fairy tale, so I I, d I get special attention. Really, religious exemption clauses? Like, oh, I don't want to wash my hands because I'm religious. What? I don't want to get a vaccine because I'm religious. I don't want to look at a, a math test because I'm religious. Like, what does that even mean? Anyway, let's keep going. Quote, like all organizations, sometimes we misstep, the statement said, in, in, in the interest of hearing from and supporting our Muslim students. I love that. Our Mus As if all Muslim students agree with this stupid, triggered little fucking baby that's like, ah, ah, ah. Again, once again, the art that this teacher portrayed was drawn by Muslims, right? So again, this is some real ass stupid ass shit, okay? In the interest of hearing from and supporting our Muslim students, language was used that does not reflect our sentiments on academic freedom. Based on all that we have learned, we have determined that our usage of the term Islamophobic was therefore flawed. But are they gonna give her her job back? Because unless they give her her job back, as well as reparations for the damage to her reputation, this statement is meaningless. This statement is fucking meaningless garbage. Like, it's one thing, like, I, like, who even cares? Like, yeah, you're still fired, but we take back calling you Islamophobic, which is the reason we fired you, but you're still fired? What? What? That's a stupid ass fucking statement. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't fucking mean anything. It's dumb ass garbage, okay? The statement did not address the lawsuit, but said that the university strongly supports academic freedom, but... They still fired the bitch. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. And, you know, I don't use bitch in, in a negative way. Uh, you know, I use bitch in a, in a very, uh, you know, in a very nice way. I call everyone a bitch. I call myself a bitch. But anyway, like, they still fired the teacher. And, like, unless you're reversing it and giving her reparations for the damage to her reputation, this doesn't mean anything. Like, you support academic freedom. That's like... Like, a cop, like, killing a black person and then saying, oh, you know, law and order, bro. Law and order. What do you mean law and order? You just fucking shot someone dead in the fucking streets and now you're talking about law and order? Like, what the fuck? Like, what? Again, these people are fucking morons. Which should coexist with support for students. What? 
the universe, like, I, you know, if I go to college and they start teaching me about the invisible hand theory of economics, am I allowed to say that, yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit and can I get that teacher fired? Can I go to a, a fucking private academy and then just say, yeah, this fucking teacher was talking about an invisible hand as a communist that's offensive to me. Can I get them fired? Or do I have to pretend to be religious? Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, you can't get someone fired for disagreeing with you. But if you pretend that it's because you're religious, all of a sudden you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's a get out of jail free card for the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. Last October, Lopez Prater showed the 14th century painting depicting the Prophet Muhammad in a lesson on Islamic art. For many Muslims, now again, many Muslims, not all Muslims, not even a majority of Muslims, visual depictions of the Prophet Muhammad violate their faith. And again, so what? Your faith fucking sucks. You have a stupid fucking faith. Can we stop with this everyone's got an opinion bullshit? All opinions are equal. If your opinion is that Adam and Eve are the first humans, you're a fucking moron. If your opinion is that like Hunter Biden is a secret CIA agent who's going to destroy the world, you're a fucking moron. If your opinion, quote unquote, is that the vaccine causes heart attacks, you're a fucking moron. And if your opinion is that because the Bible said so or the Torah said so, you're allowed to commit a genocide in Gaza, you're a fucking moron. Moron. If your opinion says that sh seeing a piece of art means that someone has to get fired, you're a fucking moron. It's not like th who cares about their faith? Faith is another word for opinion. And we got to stop respecting people's fucking opinions because their opinions can be wrong. This idea that you're allowed to have an opinion on factual things like like what is my opinion on my cell phone case? Well, my opinion is that it's green. That's not an opinion. That's just you being a fucking moron. So when you say it's my faith that God doesn't want me to see this image, that's not faith. That's not an opinion. You're just a fucking, you're a schizophrenic patient. I don't know what to tell you, right? So Jesus fucking Christ. According to the lawsuit, lawsuit Lopez Prater's course syllabus included a note that students would view images of religious figures, including the Prophet Muhammad. The syllabus also included an offer to work with students uncomfortable with viewing those images. So she knew that someone might get triggered, went out of her way, which she didn't need to, and in my opinion, shouldn't have, because fuck them. But hey, she's trying to cover her ass, and she still got fired because of this uppity fuckface loser. Loser. By the way, who is the student? Can we name and shame the student here? Why isn't the student allowed to be named? That's a grown adult. You're telling me this is a kid? This is a grown adult at a university. Why is it that we know the art teacher's name and her name is being dragged through the mud, but we can't drag through the mud this uppity fucking goddamn loser, probably a trust fund baby lunatic fucking triggered little snowflake whiny baby bitch. Why can't we do that? Is there a, can I find this fucking student's name in here? No, I can't. Why? Because she's protected or he's protected or they're protected because of religion. Religion is the magical get out of jail free card that lets you do fucked up shit to other people and get away with it. So anyway, I hate all religion. I think they're all dumb. Now, you can say that there's some aspects of some religion, like, you know, Jesus's teachings can be pretty cool. You know, the idea of giving people what they need, that's great. I don't know, maybe I heard that somewhere else. Maybe Karl Marx comes to mind. Anyway, you know, some, you know, a lot of Eastern religions can have a lot of valuable stuff, like Buddhism, right, has a lot of valuable stuff in there about, you know, the psyche, the inner soul, and that kind of stuff, and like, you know, that matches with science, and, you know, we can do brain scans, and we can find out that, you know, when people that do heavy meditation are talking about enlightenment, that it actually is a certain brain state that they're able to enter into, right? So, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in a lot of religions, but the idea that someone can, like, should believe in a very strict interpretation, and again, not all Islam believes in the stupid-ass Prophet Muhammad bullshit, like, so the idea that their specific sect of their specific dumbass fucking faith is all protected, like, there's 9,000 different kinds of, of Islam out there, we all have to, like, walk on eggshells around every single one of these motherfuckers, and the same goes for Christians. And now, again, this story is about Islam, but I don't want Christians to get a gate out of jail free card. These people are even dumber than fucking Muslims. At least Muslims in this country are a minority, right? They have some form of oppression, right? So I feel bad for them in some context, you know, like after 9-11, a lot of Muslims were fucking attacked and killed for no reason in this country, right? That's fucked up. Sikhs as well, who aren't even Muslim. They just, like, they just quote unquote, look similar to the average white racist Christian. But the, again, like this country and the world, like we are way too respectful respectful to these religious people and this is our downfall i mean seriously we have to tiptoe around these stupid motherfucking schizophrenics that are running the country right and again you see college professors get fired for 
anti-Semitic remarks when they criticize genocide going on in Israel because Israel is the fourth fucking Reich, maybe the fifth Reich. If you count the USA as the fourth Reich, which I'm open to, I mean, look at what was going on in the Vietnam War, look what's going on in this country, Jim Crow, all, you know, so on and so forth, right, segregation racism, police brutality. So I'm open to the idea that the U.S. is the Fourth Reich. But Israel is like the 4.5 Reich or Fifth Reich. I mean, Israel is a Nazi state. Isn't that crazy? I mean, and, I, you know, again, I'm shunned from polite society. You're not going to see me get on mainstream news. You're not going to see me get a, an op-ed and any, any of these fucking things because I say that Israel is a Nazi state. They do what the Nazis did, and that's okay. We're allowed, and that's fine because a bunch of dead people who founded Israel were Holocaust survivors. Now they're allowed to commit their own Holocaust. Like, really? Really? And I'm not allowed to say that because religion, religion can't do it. Anti-Semitic. Well, go fuck yourself with your anti-Semitic garbage. And if it's anti-Semitic to say that Israel is the Fifth Reich, you know what? Fuck you. I'm anti-Semitic. If it's Islamophobic to say that you shouldn't fucking fire someone for giving you a trigger warning and doing all that they can to fucking actually try to tiptoe around your bullshit and you fire them anyway, yeah, fuck you. I'm Islamophobic. I'm Christophobic. I hate all religious people and I hate all religion. And when, again, these so-called good Muslims, good Jews, good Christians, all they do is enable these institutions where the bad guys actually use it. In the same way that I think people that enable enable the United States legal system, that enable the United States policing system. If you think that there's such a thing as a good cop, you miss the mark and you're enabling the whole institution that is doing violence on thousands of Americans. If you think the legal system in the United States of America is fair and balanced, you are enabling a system that oppresses thousands of people, millions of people around the globe, right? So again, you know, this idea that, like, it's it's somehow, like, they're trying to reverse this shit. I don't know, man. It's fucking bullshit. But anyway, I just wanted to cover this one because it's the apex of a lot of different things I talk about. But again, this is why I say specifically I don't like religious people, right? And again... I, I know that some people might view that as offensive or bigoted, but I don't care about the people themselves. If they stop being religious, I'm in. I'm all in, right? But as long as they're enabling and defending and giving money to a system that is responsible for some crazy fucked up shit, I'm sorry. Game, set, match. You choose to go out of your way to worship a system that is rampant with child predation in the Catholic Church, for example, right? We saw there was a study that came out of France in 2020, I believe, maybe it was 2021, that said that the just the Catholic churches in France are responsible for nearly 400,000 different cases of child molestation. But the good Christians, I can't, I can't call them stupid. The good Catholics, quote unquote, good Catholics for uh, enabling and uphold. And that's just in France, by the way, just in France. And that's just like a 20 year study. So yeah. So when I say all religious people are bad, that's what I mean. They're shitty fucking garbage because they prop up a system that is evil, pure evil. The Catholic Church, evil, evil, Israel, evil, evil, evil. And again, anything going to Saudi Arabia, for example, they, they talk about, oh, it's our faith. It's our faith that women aren't allowed to do this. Look at what's going on in Afghanistan. It's our faith that we, we get to kill women if they disagree with us slightly. That's our faith. My God says I get to murder and rape women who disagree with me slightly. Hey, I didn't say it. My God said it. Muhammad said it, bro. I don't know what to tell you. These are evil motherfuckers. And if we can't talk about that because, oh, how dare you criticize religion? Well, then we got a society that's re-entering the dark ages so again once again i know atheism's got a bad rap because of dumb motherfuckers like sam harris and trust me when i say this that is not you know that is not the kind of atheism that i subscribe to at all that guy's a fucking moron but this idea that because a couple of atheists were cringe on reddit or something so we're not allowed to criticize religion anymore i uh, come the fuck on bro come the fuck on i feel like we're entering a dark age right now i feel like religious uh suppression um, is getting, uh, way 
more intense. I mean, look at the Republican Party is fully embracing Christo fascism in this country, right? Israel is committing the final solution. They have said that they are not doing a two state solution. They are not doing a one state solution. The politicians, you know, as Netanyahu gets back in there, they literally announce that they're going to engage in a final solution. They're going to completely bulldoze all the settlements any minute now, right? So again, these religious institutions, again, Catholic Church, you know, you got countries like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Afghanistan that are so-called, you know, Muslim faith countries that are just committing atrocity after atrocity. The U.S., a so-called Christian country, atrocity after atrocity. You know, Israel, a so-called Jewish stronghold, atrocity after atrocity. So maybe, I don't know, just maybe we should be allowed to be proud and very, I don't know, animated atheists without the so-called good Christians trying to come in and, and run cover for these corrupt institutions. So I say fuck that shit. I'm an atheist. Not only am I an atheist, I'm an anti-theist. And my goal in life is to see the eradication of religious institutions. I want on my deathbed to be remembering when the Catholic Church fell and collapsed and everyone just disregarded it. That's what I want. I want to remember when the state of Israel was destroyed and then actually there was a revolution in Palestine and then people have their country back. That's what I want in my life because these religious institutions are trash. They're garbage. And the people that follow them are dumber than doornails. So anyway, that's my religion segment. And again, this teacher, not only should she be rehired, fuck, it, fuck that school, by the way. She should be given a free pass to go teach at any school that she wants because she was just doing her fucking job. She was doing her job as well as she could have. She gave them a fucking trigger warning. They decided, you know what? I get to, I get to go in the news here and I get to ruin someone else's life if I sit here in this classroom and just ignore her trigger warnings. Then I get to ruin in her life so go fuck that shit and again this is a grown adult by the way grown adult student student by the way who's at least 19 years old a grown fucking adult at this university why isn't their name public why don't we know their name why is this teacher being put on blast and her reputation and career being destroyed and this student somehow gets to avoid all of that Jesus fucking Christ. Why is it though? Because the religion is a get out of jail free card in this country. You get to do whatever you want if you're religious. You get to walk over anybody if you're religious and no one's allowed to say anything. Stupid ass shit. Anyway, there you go.